Hi, everyone. This talk is on reinforcement learning with fast and forgetful memory. In standard model-free reinforcement learning, we generally learn a mapping pi from Markov states S to actions A. However, the standard reinforcement learning approach only works when we have access to the Markov states. In most realistic oral applications, the states that we get from the environment are imperfect. They may have sensor noise or they may be missing information. If this is the case, we call these imperfect states observations, denoted by O. Reinforcement learning requires the states be Markov, so what do we do? The standard approach is to summarize a sequence of observations into a sequence of latent Markov states using some function f. f and pi are usually trained jointly using the return, effectively solving the problem of missing or noisy inputs. What does this function f usually look like? In most prior work, f is either a recurrent neural network called an RNN or a transformer. When f is an RNN, it receives an observation and a recurrent state denoted in orange and produces a Markov state and a output updated recurrent state. On the other hand, a transformer will process all prior observations at each time step without using a recurrent state. Both of these approaches have downsides. In RNNs, we cannot compute the next recurrent state before computing the previous recurrent state. This means we cannot parallelize computation over time, putting highly parallel GPUs to waste. On the other hand, transformers can be parallelized to take advantage of GPUs, but they cannot scale to long sequences because they scale quadratically with the length of the sequence. At each time step, they must feed all prior observations to F. Our proposed model has equivalent recurrent and parallel formulations. This means we get the best of both worlds. We can be efficient during training, computing all outputs in parallel in a single forward pass. We can also run recurrently over very long sequences using constant space and time for output. This is important for inference. Our model is derived from theories within the field of computational psychology. Specifically, our model relies on composite memory and contextual coding. The theory of composite memory dates back to the 1800s. It states that we as humans represent memory as a lossy sum of individual experiences. In the 1970s, some researchers came up with a model that better matched empirical observations from humans, where a decay term gamma provides a mechanism for forgetting and more heavily weighs recent observations. The B term here is sampled from a Bernoulli distribution and it represents the fact that our senses are actually very rich and we choose to store only a small portion of what we actually perceive in memory. Contextual coding, on the other hand, provides a means to discern between similar sensory information received in different contexts. For example, if I'm in a public space and hear voices, that's fine. If I think I'm alone and start hearing voices, this would produce an entirely different experience, even if the raw sensory information is the same. Our model learns a context that encodes relative time. We evaluated our model against 13 other memory models and 52 separate tasks. And we found that our model outperforms the other baselines. On the left, you can see the aggregate score on the pop gem sweep with our model, fast and forgetful memory in bold. You can see that our score is about 15% higher than the next best score. And on the right, you can see our model's return broken down by task. On the x-axis, we have individual tasks. And on the y-axis, we report the score of FFM compared relative to a linear transformer. Our model is not just capable, but efficient. We see that the training time for one epoch of PPO using FFM is much faster than a standard RNN. In fact, in our experiments, we found that FFM on the CPU runs faster than certain RNNs such as the GRU on a GPU. In the plot on the right, we show that FFM is also memory efficient using slightly less GPU memory than a GRU or LSTM. We ablated various components of our model. Surprisingly, we found that when we removed forgetting, denoted here in orange, we performed much worse than a standard RNN such as the GRU. This is in contrast to many modern memory models 
which attempt to store as much information as they can for as long as possible, such as state space models or transformers. To conclude, fast and forgetful memory is an efficient and practical approach to tackling partially observable tasks in reinforcement learning. Thanks for your time.